in lane one. We have Christopher Tabor in lane two, Cole Miller, lane three, David Frazier, lane four, Patrick Park, lane five, Alex Fernandez, lane six, Zach Dalby, and lane seven, Luis Macias. Utes in the odd lane, Sun Devils in the evens, as has been the case all afternoon. And the swimmers are off. 100 yard men's butterfly. NCA automatic qualifying time, 45.91. Haven't seen a single swimmer reach an NCA qualifying mark today, but we have seen plenty of great finishes, including the last one. Four women swimmers all coming in within five tenths of a second of one another. Right now, the clear leader coming in lane five, Alex Fernandez, the 21 year old Ute, off to a great start. Fernandez. Up out of the water once again. He's being hotly contested right now. In lane four by Patrick Park. In lane six, Zach Dalby. Coming up on the final stretch here. It's Fernandez's race to lose. Fernandez has got this one nearly locked up. You don't see too much separation in the 100-yard butterfly, but you will right now. Alex Fernandez finishes it off, 48-5-9. In second place, Zach Dalby for the Sun Devils, 49-9-4. And in third place, Patrick Park also for Arizona State at 49.98. So Utah claims first place. The Sun Devils take two and three. The winning time coming from Alex Fernandez. The early leader right now appears to be coming from lane four. That's Marina Spadoni for the Sun Devils. We'll see at the turn. We're halfway through with this one. It is Spadoni in first place, followed closely by Petra Soinenen. We saw Soinenen lose by a hair earlier. Coming up on our final turn here, Spadoni with an opportunity to claim a victory in lane four. She's got the lead. Spadoni goes underwater, and we'll see if she emerges in the lead. She does. Very closely contested right now. Melissa Pock in lane five. Pock coming close, as is Lori Lane Kramer in lane six. We have four different swimmers contending for the lead here, and it's Pock in lane five for the Utes claiming victory. And Petra Soinenen comes in second place, so it's a clean one-two finish for Utah's top two swimmers with Lori Lane Kramer coming in third and Spadoni coming in fourth. And there goes Melanie Bush. Bush is in the pool, as is the anchor for lane five for Utah, Juliana Gigliotti. Arizona State's B team, Marina Spadoni in lane six. Full length right now, that's a comfortable lead for Melanie Bush. Coming up on the three minute marker as Gigliotti tries to close the gap in lane five, but it doesn't appear she's gonna be able to do so. So much ground to make up and under 50 yards left to go. Arizona State putting on an excellent show right here in the 400 yard freestyle relay as we see Marina Spadoni in lane six catching up with Gigliotti in lane five. This is Melanie Bush's race to win right now. And here come the Sun Devils in lane six. They could go one, two. Melanie Bush will finish things off in first place. It's a photo finish over in five and six. And it's the Sun Devils taking second place. The ASU B team coming in less than a tenth of a second ahead of the Utah A team. So the Sun Devils go one, two. And the women's 400 yard freestyle relay capping off what was an excellent day in the pool for the ASU women's swimming team, finishing off their second straight victory to open up the 2015 calendar year and continuing a strong start to Pac-12 competitions.